Today's vocabulary is an idiom. It's not my cup of tea. Uh, the expression is not my cup of tea. Uh, it's used to talk about something you don't like or something you're not interested in. For example, if you were to ask me, uh, do you like bowling? I would say, uh, it's not my cup of tea, which means I don't like it. Uh, the expression usually has a nuance of, uh, I don't like it, but I understand that other people like it. Or it, it's a, a nuance of being non-judgmental, meaning I don't care if you do it, I don't mind if other people do it, but I don't enjoy it myself. Uh, is is the usually what we are trying to convey when we use this expression. I wanted to make this video in part because I've noticed a lot of my students are actually misusing this expression. I think it quite often shows up on lists of useful idioms that English as a second language students will find on the internet and will study and some of them use it incorrectly. The important thing to note with this, with this expression is that it can only be used in the negative. So we can say, bowling is not my cup of tea. We don't say that something is my cup of tea. So I wouldn't say, hiking is really my cup of tea. That sounds a little bit strange, a little bit unnatural. Why? Well, as with a lot of expressions or idioms, there's not really a good reason why. It's just one expression is common and the other expression is not common. And this expression is only common in the negative. We say, not, it's not my cup of tea. We don't say that something is my cup of tea. The pronoun, of course, can change. You can say, it's not your cup of tea, is it? Or you can say, I don't think it's his cup of tea, etc. But it's most commonly used to talk about yourself, so most commonly, my. It's not my cup of tea. Uh, sorry, if you want extra practice or feedback, Try using a sentence with not my cup of tea in the comments down below and I'll give you some feedback on how natural it sounds.